Let's look at the steps to download the Tiny 11 ISO for Windows 11 version 25H2. Microsoft has already published the official ISO file for the latest preview of Windows 11 version 25H2, and you can actually use it to create a custom ISO file using Tiny 11 Builder. There is a third party script designed to customize and streamline the installation of the operating system. This tool allows you to remove most of the default apps and run the operating system on lower end hardware. Now, first, you need to go to this website, which is Windows Insider Preview Downloads page. Make sure you sign in with your Microsoft account. Then scroll down and here, that's where you're going to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. So just select the latest preview available. In this case, we need to download the Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26200, which corresponds to the next feature update for the operating system. Click Confirm. Now select the language. Click Confirm and now you are going to download the ISO file to your computer. Now search for Tiny11 Builder on your web browser and select this GitHub page to download the Tiny11 Builder script. Click on the green code here and download the zip file. Now after the file has been downloaded, just open the location where you save those files. I'm going to use WinRAW to extract the Tiny11 Builder. You can also use a Windows Explorer to do it. Now you are going to right click on the ISO and select mount. After the ISO is mounted, make sure to confirm the drive letter. In this case, mine is F. You can see it's here. And now let's open our Windows PowerShell as administrator. We are going to run this command to allow the Tiny11 Builder script to run on the computer. Click Y to allow the script to continue. And now make sure to note the location for the script which is this part in particular case. Just why I click and copy this location and paste it in the PowerShell. And now enter backward slash. And now when you go to the Tiny11 Builder folder, you're going to see these two files here. When you go to the GitHub page, the Tiny11 Maker contains the Microsoft Bluetooth apps and the Tiny11 Core Maker contains the debluted version of the ISO. I want to remove Bluetooth, so I'll copy the tiny 11 maker.ps one and paste it in the PowerShell command and hit enter. Now click on Y and hit enter for the setup to continue. And in here, we are going to specify the drive letter for the mount point of the ISO file, which is in this case F, and press enter. And now, if you want to create the Tiny11 ISO for Windows 11 Home, choose in this one. And if you want to create the ISO file for Windows 11 Pro, use the index number 6. And now, the Tiny11 builder is going to proceed with the creation of the custom ISO file. It is important to note that this process is going to take some time. So just let the script run the computer. If you selected the Tiny11 Core Maker, you will be asked during the image creation if you want to enable Net 3.5 support. Just click Y to enable it. And that is it guys. Now the custom ISO file has been created. And now you want to run this command to set the most secure PowerShell execution policy. If you go to the folder where we extracted the Tiny11 Builder files, you are going to find the ISO there. You can see it's right here. That is how you use the Tiny11 Builder script to create a custom ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. And guys, if this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.